News Force Chris Glorioso is here with his exclusive hidden camera investigation. I think people associate hidden cameras with investigative reporters. We don't use hidden cameras very often. We really only use them when we are trying to illuminate something that there would be no way to bring a professional camera and not change everybody's behavior. I'm Chris Glorioso, I-Team investigative reporter at NBC New York. Welcome to NBCU Academy. If you bring a professional camera with lights in the room, sometimes people are gonna change the way they behave. For the better, for the worse. When the I-Team took a hidden camera to area junkyards, look what we found littered in the wrecked cars. Our attorneys, our journalistic standards, they really put a high bar on any time we need to use a hidden camera. And they really insist that there's no other way that we can show the truth of what's happening. One of the first questions that we're asked by our attorneys and our journalistic standards managers, why can't you just bring your phone in? And usually that's good enough. In many instances, phones are now critical journalism tools. I use the phone a lot more than I use a hidden camera. But then you have to ask the secondary question, which is, well, what is it that I'm really trying to show here? Maybe it's wrongdoing behind the counter of a business or deceptive practices. Some of those things, they can be gotten to without a hidden camera. And so I don't use hidden cameras very often. In the cases where I do use them, it really is because there's no way to show this type of behavior or this type of story without a concealed camera. This happened to my daughter four, nearly five years ago. We were contacted by a dad, a father, who said he was upset by the way certain nightclub promoters were reaching out to people that they knew were underage and that they knew they were going to be exposing to risky business, risky behavior, like drinking underage around lots of people who are well over age. And he said, you should see the messages on social media that young women are getting, women who are younger than 18. And essentially, this father felt like these women were being lured in and being plied with alcohol when they weren't even old enough to drink. They specifically targeted shares because they're vulnerable. But it was impossible to prove the scope of what was happening without actually talking to some of these club promoters. And the only way to talk to them was to meet them at clubs. And we couldn't bring a professional camera to do that. And even a cell phone camera, because it was dark late at night, the audio was going to be poor, it was gonna be loud. So we ultimately went through legal and standards and decided the only way to show what's really going on would be a hidden camera. Were you just trying to get someone who you thought was underage into the club? Then why did you give those IDs to them? Because we're trying to do a film. And we saw these club promoters not only knowingly offering young people free drinks, but even providing these young people with fake identification. I mean, it's illegal though, isn't it? I know, I know, it's illegal, but I mean, if the guys want to go out, it's like, uh, you know, it's what we have. We, we always try to help them. When we called them out on that, when we showed them that hidden camera video, there was absolutely no explaining it and at least one very large nightclub operator operating more than one location throughout the city of New York decided to stop using these promoters. And so it had the effect that was important, which was making people safer. 